part two, the apology. We begin with expressions of faith in the presence of the most blessed Trinity. Let us pray the glory be three times. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us tell Jesus that we truly believe in his real presence, in the most blessed sacrament, Make this act of faith as an act of atonement for all those who deny his real presence in the Holy Eucharist. <clears throat> and we pray the act of faith. Oh my God, I firmly believe that you are one God in three divine persons, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, I truly believe that your divine Son became man and died for our sins, and that he will come to judge the living and the dead. I truly believe these and all the truths which, which the Holy Catholic Church teaches because in revealing them, you can neither deceive nor be deceived. And we all say three times, O Sacrament Most Holy, O Sacrament Divine. All praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine. All praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. <clears throat> After each of the following acts of faith, let us answer as did the man in the gospel. Lord, I do believe. Help my unbelief. is the 
following. Often our hearts are not in sync with our minds. We say we believe, but actions do not back that up. Grace us, Lord, to truly respond to the graces, to really believe and not be deceived in unbelief. Lord, I do believe. Help thou my unbelief. Lord, I miss my time. Lord, I truly believe your turn. After each of the following. No. Lord, I, I truly believe that thou art present. Jesus, I truly believe that thou art present in the Holy Eucharist, body and blood, soul and divinity. Lord, I do believe, help thou my unbelief. Give your meditation. Lord God, you gave us your body and blood to keep us strong, to give us hope, and to help us on our way to heaven. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I do believe that you are truly present, body, soul, divinity, and blood. In the Eucharist, every single day, we receive you and we adore you. Amen. Lord, I do believe. Help thou my unbelief. Jesus, I believe that thou art present in the blessed sacrament. Out of love for me and for all sinners. Yes, Lord, who in their right mind can deny that you love us so? What other reason would you have for remaining in that tabernacle, alone, abused, often not even reverenced, ignored? Thank you for staying there, dear Jesus. Help us to learn to keep you company more and more all the days of our lives. Lord, I do believe, help thou my unbelief. Jesus, I believe that in the holy sacrifice of the Mass, you are offering yourself to the Father in our name, in adoration, thanksgiving, petition, and atonement. Personal reflection. During your holy sacrifice, O Lord, let us find comfort and let us remove all the sins from our life and follow you and pick up our cross that should not feel like a burden, but they are part of our trials, Lord. And we thank you and praise you for bringing us this close to you. Amen. We are sorry for our sins. And let us all take part in your holy sacrifice of the Mass. Amen. In your name we pray, O oh Lord. Lord, I do believe. Help thou my unbelief. Jesus, I believe that in the Blessed Sacrament, your Eucharistic heart beats steadily out of love for us, as it does in heaven. Lord Jesus, you have proven and shown to man that you are indeed real blood and real body because you have left remnants of your heart in Eucharistic miracles. So Lord, I believe that your heart is beating for love of us.
give us the grace to know it and to experience Amen. and to know in all our being that yes. your heart is beating for us or you would not be constantly asking us to be Amen. merciful to others as you have been merciful to us. So thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you for being present for real, not just yes, what we Lord. see, but what is really spiritually there. there. Amen. Amen. Lord, I do believe, help thou my unbelief. Jesus, I believe that the holy sacrifice of the Mass is the most holy, the most sacred, and the most powerful <clears throat> means of loving and adoring the most blessed Trinity. Amen. We thank you, Lord for being present at the Holy Mass, for opening your yes. arms for us, all of us who have sinned, Amen. and sending your guardian angels to protect us <laughs> and to guide us to the right path of your love and mercy. Amen. The most blessed Trinity be with us today. Yes, please. Son, Holy Spirit. And help us to minister to all the suffering Amen. Amen. that need your guidance. Yes, Lord. In your name we pray. Amen. 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 Lord, I do believe. Help thou my unbelief. Lord, I do believe. Help thou my unbelief. Lord, I do believe. Help thou my unbelief. Okay, we prayed that three times. Now we go to the um the Eucharistic heart of Jesus. Jesus. Blessed Mary, Saint Joseph, I love you, 
save souls. Now let us thank the merciful heart of Jesus for his many manifestations of love for us in the blessed sacrament. For all the holy masses we have shared in, the holy communions received, the visits and holy hours made, and for his constant love day and night, in thanksgiving and in the spirit of atonement for our life of gratitude, let us say, and Jesus at life's end, how many of those Blessed holy sacraments he praised, adored, and loved with grateful affection in all the tabernacles of the world and in the hearts of all men, even to the end of time. Amen. May the heart of Jesus in the most blessed sacrament he praised, adored, and loved with grateful affection in all the tabernacles of the world and in the hearts of all men, even to the end of time. Amen. Meditation says, Lord, I would like to say to you, when our life is over and we stand before you, how many of our holy communions, how many of our holy hours, how many of our holy visits that we will have made in, in the totality of our whole life, how many of those will really be worthy? Amen. How many were pleasing in your sight, Lord Jesus? So as I come before you, Lord, I beg pardon, I beg forgiveness for the many times I wasn't up to par, Lord, falling short. But Jesus, my heart is open now. I want to be in your presence how you want me to be in your presence, how it is pleasing to you. And I beg that and pray that for all the souls who come in your presence, that they realize it is the one true living God, and especially Eucharistically, it's like heaven, you, your, body, your body, blood, soul, and divinity is before us. We only see a host, just like when the apostles walked with you. They couldn't see the God, they just saw the man. So Lord, may we render to you what is yours. And may we be mindful of how and what we do in your presence. And we give thanks that you are allowing us to be here and you allow us to grow and become better and better. Lord, have mercy on us the way we fall short. Lord, have mercy. And now we'll sing one time, may the heart of Jesus. May the heart of Jesus in the most blessed sacrament be praised, adored, and loved with grateful affection in all the tabernacles of the world and in the hearts of all men even to the end of time amen and with the public apology we will pray the um apology prayer And it says, to be in the tabernacle means that God has come down from heaven through the most wondrous of miracles, which requires acts of wisdom, power, 
and love in order to reach out to sinful man and then to be in the tabernacle still, still silent, silent whether treated well or badly, whether in a wealthy or in a miserable house, whether sought out or or despised, whether praised or cursed, whether adored as God or discarded like an old piece of furniture. All this being repeated today, tomorrow, the day, and the day after tomorrow, next month, and the following next year, century after century, to the end of time. It is also, also repeated in different, different places all over the world, amidst good and thankful souls, amidst lukewarm, forgetful, and inconsistent souls, as well as amidst cold, hardened, and sacrilegious souls, eternal Father on earth, Bless, blessed be the hour in which your only begotten Son opened his lips on earth to say, And lo, I am with you always to the close of the age. And on earth, blessed be the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit for every second that the heart of Jesus is with us in each and every single tabernacle on earth. Blessed be Emmanuel. Yes, Jesus, you stay no matter how you treat it. We give thanks. And now... We have insulted or offended. A friend or even a stranger. And apology is called for. Our Savior is being insulted and grievously offended by friends and enemies alike. This demands public apology. Let us now offer to Jesus, our Lord, who will one day be our judge, the sincere expression of our sorrow and regret at the way we and others are treating him. After each invocation please answer jesus we apologize and beg your mercy apologize and beg your mercy in the stranger ways we your friends have returned your love for us Lord, please accept our apology. Jesus, we apologize and beg your mercy. In the meditation, Jesus, we pull a Judas on you each and every day. We're traitors, we say we're friends, but we don't always treat you like that. Lord, I'm sorry for the many times, the many, many times I've offended you. Lord, you've always been a true friend, a tried and true friend, never leaving or forsaking, never being warm or cold never coming in season, going out of season, coming in season, 
So Jesus, help me to be firm in my commitment of truly being friends with you, trying to understand and listen and obey. Lord, I beg forgiveness for myself and for all others. Jesus, we apologize and beg your mercy. For our failure to keep your commandments of love of neighbor and even of our enemies. Lord, please accept our apology. Lord, accept our apology when we get mad with the people around us. Whether it be a family member or a neighbor next door or just a person we don't even know. We ask your forgiveness and we ask to love that you give us that grace we need to forgive offenses and to move on and just say, Lord, what would you do? And that's what we should do. Amen. So, Lord, give us the grace to turn around and do as you would do, not as we would. We reply, Jesus, we apologize and beg your mercy. Our indifference to the needs of the poor and the underprivileged. Lord, please accept our apology. Please accept my apology. Not all the time is poor materially. What about spiritually? Sometimes you just get, Lord, I just feel like it's futile. But Lord, help us where we fall short and to recognize where people are hurting. And Lord, help us to um, change our attitude and to be more open, to be willing to pay the price so that the poor can become rich as we're led by the Holy Spirit. Jesus, we apologize and beg your mercy. For all the ingratitude which wounds your loving heart, Lord, please accept our apology. Teach us, O oh Lord. Come, Holy Spirit, and guide us in being thankful and grateful for the many blessings you have offered to us in our lives. Thank you, Lord. Jesus. To you, Lord. Okay. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus, for our song. Jesus, we apologize and beg your mercy for the many times we have bargained with you, whose love knows no limits. Lord, please accept our apology. Accept my apology. Lord, how many times do we act like you are a vending machine, just putting in the coins and expecting a windfall? Help us, Lord, to mature, to ask, seek, and knock, knowing that your love will do the right thing. Lord, knowing that you want to give us more than we can ask or imagine. And Lord, let us start to know the greatest thing we can get or have are the, the virtues and values that will help us to merit eternal life, that we can get a high place. St. Thomas Aquinas said, in the high places, so many angels fell. All those slots are available to whoever God wishes. And like he said to us, a lot of things, we don't get it because we deserve it. We get it because we desire it. So help us to focus. So if we want to bargain, Lord, that's the type of bargaining we need to do. So Jesus, let us just understand your great love before we can ask. You're willing to give all that is good that will help us to merit eternal salvation. And also the things that brings us joy here. We thank you, Jesus. You can do your job, and it's well done. We give thanks. Amen. Jesus, we apologize and beg your mercy. 
for our lack of generosity in your service, Lord. Please accept our apology. Lord, I'm sorry for all of us. I know it's a pitiful sorry, but I'm I'm standing in the gap for all of us who know that we can do more for you, either financially or physically, however, whatever you choose or know that we can give. Lord, I repent for all the times I and others, we have not given our full service to you and especially to our brothers around us. Please help us, Lord, to, tra to you transform us, to be made anew to be more generous with our time and our talents. In your name, sweet Jesus. Amen. Jesus, we apologize and beg your mercy. For the many times we and others have missed mass through our own fault, Lord, please accept our apology. Because your Mass is when you are present with the Trinity, Lord. This is where we find our forgiveness and our love that you have bestowed upon us through being crucified on the cross. Let us understand that the Mass is important yes, as Christians. Catholics. Yeah. And we pray for the conversion of Christians who are confused and not aware aware of what the mass is. So we thank you, Lord, for hearing us today and being stewards of your word. Jesus, we apologize and beg your mercy. For the many communions we have missed and the visits to you in the Blessed Sacrament, which we have failed to make, Lord, please accept our apology. Lord, I'm sorry for all of us. For the communions we've missed, not only on Sundays, but the advantage of coming yes. before you in the week to receive renewed hope, renewed strength, yes, renewed Lord. food that gets us on our daily days and lives, Lord. We are sorry that we have not thought of you to come to receive you and to Definitely. worship you in that reception. Other than that, we're ignoring you or hiding from you, Lord. Definitely. I repent for both, and I ask your forgiveness. Yes. In Jesus' name, Forgive amen. Us. Jesus, we apologize and beg your mercy. The profanation of Sundays and holy days through unnecessary work mm -hmm. and shopping. Lord, please accept our apology. Oh Jesus, forgive me for the many times for shopping on Sundays. But I, especially at this moment, <clears throat> want to ask prayers and blessings upon the people, Thais and Brenda, who helped me to see the error. Lord, and with Brenda, it was, she's not even Catholic, and it was a mother in her church and she had told them about cooking, you know, long hours on Sundays and different things. And it's exactly the stuff I read to back that up. So, Lord, so many people, you know, doing their lawns, washing clothes, so much. And, Lord, we really, we really know we beg forgiveness because you want us to spend Sundays with you. Spend Sundays visiting, getting to know our other relatives or visiting the sick or the hospitals. We thank you for some people go to the hospitals, some Baptist people, and they go visit on Sundays. So, Lord, I'm very sorry, and I'm thankful to you for bringing, making me be mindful and help me to 
always try to learn and become a better person to be pleasing in your sight. So we pray that some way, somehow, many of the people who are doing these things, someone can be a beacon of light in their life and instruct them and that their hearts will be open and they will know it's your day, Lord. It's your day. Amen. Jesus, we apologize and beg your mercy for all the blasphemies, cursing, swearing, and taking your holy name in vain, Lord. Please accept our apology. Forgive me, O oh Lord, for not considering my language and not filtering my speech and using your speech of life and sharing your word of hope, comfort, and love. <clears throat> forgive us this sin, Lord, and forgive me this sin. Jesus, we apologize and beg your mercy for all those parents who refuse your admittance into their homes and who never pray with their children. Lord, please accept our apology. And we know, Lord, it takes a village to raise a child. So even if we don't have children, we're part of the problems if we're not laboring in prayer or encouraging parents. And Lord, we pray, we pray that parents may understand their great role. Just like St. Joseph had a great role. Their role is to usher, help to usher the children into the kingdom of heaven, to be parents, not to be friends. You maybe can be both, but most of all, be a parent. Lord, give them all the graces that they need and help us all to labor in that field. Amen. 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 Jesus, we apologize and beg your mercy for the bad example of parents and teachers who never speak about your love and mercy to those under their care. Lord, accept our apology. Lord God, I repent for those parents and teachers, either because they can't by law or because they refuse because they don't believe. Lord, help their unbelief. Give them the grace to know that you are real, you are alive, Amen. and you made and created everything. Amen. Give them to grace the grace to not only take care of the physical needs of the children, but to also take care of the spiritual needs by letting them know that Jesus is alive yes. and you can call on him any time of day and you will find comfort yeah. in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Jesus, we apologize and beg your mercy. For those responsible for breaking up families through easy divorce, Lord, please accept our apology of this blessed sacrament being yeah. not taken seriously and people getting married for the wrong reason. Have mercy. And their thoughts are of other people and of sin, of fornication, Lord. We ask that you forgive us this sin and help us to minister to people who are suffering and give us words to speak of hope of your love. You can change yes, Lord. their thoughts and their desires that Thank are God. not of you. Thank yes, you, Jesus. Thank Forgive you. us this sin, Lord. We're Amen. so sorry for hurting you in this way. Yes, Lord. Oh, God. Amen. Jesus, we apologize and beg your mercy for the scandal 
given by certain bishops, priests, and religious in their abuse of children, teens, adults. Lord, please accept our apology. Lord, it's time to call a spade a spade. Jesus, be merciful. The Lord, I, right, souls are at stake and they're lost. Yes. Lord, I'm sorry for not praying and sacrificing enough because the priests, the pope, the cardinals, the bishops, archbishops, monsignors, everybody needs our prayers. So if we're not praying diligently, then we are part of the problem because Lord, prayer is a mighty, mighty weapon to fight and tear down the stronghold. Amen. So Jesus, we, we, we beg forgiveness and help us to do how we can make amends and reparation and pray and sacrifice and fast, even in little ways, so that, Lord, your mighty army can defeat the kingdom of darkness. Amen. 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 Jesus, we apologize and beg your mercy for the scandal given by certain priests and religious especially those who attack the perennial teachings of the church. Lord, please accept our apology. Lord, I pray in the gap for those people, and sometimes myself, that may have challenged the church on their decision, thinking in my manner or in their manner that they're right. God, this is wrong. If it is done in the infallible, everything came from you. And it is not our place to attack them, but to pray first to see if there is a challenge that's offending or hurting the people, or if it's something that we're just bringing up in our own our, a rebellion within ourselves to challenge them. Yes. Because it's what we think is right, our opinion. We are <laughs> right. We've become God all of a sudden. Yeah, Lord, I sense. repent of thinking that my word is right and theirs too. If it's not according to the church teachings, then it is wrong. So Lord, I repent and ask forgiveness for all those who have done right. Amen. Amen. Jesus, we apologize and beg your mercy. <clears throat> For the exclusion of prayer in your teachings from so many schools and for watering down or false interpretations of your teachings, Lord, please accept our apology. Forgive us, O Lord, for being confused and led astray from your truth. Have mercy. In your mercy, Lord which is your sacred heart within your church in the Eucharist. Please forgive us, Lord, for ignoring the important facts of our mass and the purpose you've died on the cross for us, Lord. Please forgive us for not honoring that and sharing that with others. Jesus, we apologize and beg your mercy. For the murders through legalized abortions of millions of innocent babies throughout the world and the apathy of so many to this wholesale slaughter of the innocents. Lord, please accept our apology. And Lord, I beg forgiveness for us as humans, not even recognizing you in all people in that stage of development. What a shame, Lord. And then people following the ways of the world and not the godly way, 
Help us all to see the truth and help us to fight for the unborn. Fight. Let us do what we can. We can in prayer. We can in if there's an opportunity to speak to someone. And, it, and, and if we can at this point try to promote chastity to people, their, the parents with their children or you with your cousins or people, to let them know, you know, it, there will be no abortion if people are, if they're chaste. So Lord have mercy. And then we want to pray we probably forget about married couples who might be aborting their children or something. So Lord have mercy, have mercy, have mercy. And we just pray for all those little baby souls. And right now we ask their intercession on in our world because things are like it's upside down. And now they can, they're, they're, they, they are a large army, a large army so that they can pray for us. And then, Lord, the world can be transformed and renewed by the power of the Holy Spirit when they can have abortion clinics open because there will be no customers. Amen. Amen. Also, Lord, you please just help people to understand that birth control is also aborting Amen. Murder. babies murder. and murder. Mm -hmm. Help these young ladies understand that this is also abortion and killing of the infant. Lord, yes. forgive mm -hmm. us. Help yes. us to pray and share this testimony of yours. Jesus, we apologize and beg your mercy. For all promoters of abortion, such as legislators, doctors, nurses, anti-life groups, court judges, and others. Lord, have please accept our apology. Lord God, we pray for all these figures. Their minds are cold and steeled against the truth, and their eyes are blinded of what's going on because it's an act of convenience for them. They don't mm -hmm. care. Either the convenience may be because you don't want to have any child right now, or the convenience may be that it's a political ploy to get you more votes, or to move you to a higher level, or to make more money. Whatever the cause, Lord, remove the stones from their hearts and give them hearts of flesh. Open their eyes and remove the blinders so they can see the raw truth of what is going on. Reveal these things to them who care not and yet don't want to care. Amen. Have mercy on their souls, Have Lord. Mercy. I repent for them, Lord, Have for mercy. closing their eyes of understanding and their hearts closed shut like stones. In Jesus' name, we know and believe that you are the victor in all these things. Amen. 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 <clears throat> Jesus, we apologize and beg your mercy. <clears throat> for all promoters and portrayers of... No. For all those who refusing to trust in your providence, promote or practice contraception, Lord. Please accept our apology. Lord, please send us messengers and educators <laughs> to teach these yes. youthful kids and even married couples, people that have their eyes closed to your truth, mm -hmm. that this is just not only bad for their body, Amen. but also harming your baby. So, Lord, Help us to share your word and your teachings on what contraception is. Holy Mother Mary, please intercede for us in speaking your truth. And be not afraid. Amen. Yes. And as they realize what it's doing to their <clears throat> bodies, Lord, let them un understand the detriment of, to their souls, yes, which Lord. is eternal. Amen. Amen. Jesus, we apologize 
and beg your mercy for all promoters and portrayers of hardcore pornography, such as books, films, magazines, live shows, internet sites, and for all who attend such shows or purchase material or watch it on the internet to the detriment of their souls. Lord, please accept our apology. And Jesus Christ, the one that is so pure, a holy God, help us truly to pray and sacrifice and help to tear down that dark kingdom. Because Lord, it is diabolical and it has tentacles to try to reach in and grab and take the light from all souls who participate. Lord, it starts small. We should take custody over what we see, what we hear, what we say. Jesus, help the people to become very, very mindful. Lord, have mercy because Lots of time, little infiltrates, it snowballs. Jesus, have mercy and help us to do what we can to so pray. Amen. Jesus, we apologize and beg your mercy for all religious and civil leaders who fail to speak out and take action against this moral pollution that is destroying souls. Lord, please accept our apology. Lord Jesus, religious and civil leaders, maybe they're part of the problem or maybe they're just scared because they don't wanna lose votes or lose favor with their parishioners. Lord, give them the grace and the strength through whom they receive you the religious people, they receive you. So therefore they should receive the strength. Yeah. Give them yeah. the grace to open their eyes, to realize what they have received empowers them to speak out against what you teach, not what they're trying to be Amen. complacent about. Lord, remove the lukewarmness from all of our souls because we're Amen. all lukewarm in some way, mm. shape or form towards this issue. Because maybe we don't things. do it doesn't many mean it should be done. Lord, yes, thank yes. you for healing this land of pornography, destroying uh, abortion. Thank you, Lord, the things that are destroying each and every one of us. Have mercy. Jesus, have mercy. mercy. Have mercy. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Jesus, we apologize and beg your mercy for all the widespread immodesty and dress on the poor part of Christian women and girls, especially in church, Lord, please accept our apology. Lord, we understand that sometimes they just don't know. Parents are ignorant to the fact True. that this is causing Great. to solicit sex and this <coughs> should be censored, Lord. Help us to <coughs> be better advocates and examples of Mary, our mother, yes. our blessed mother. Amen. Let us <laughs> just cover ourselves completely and let us not be Amen. promoting sex through our dress, as adults and young girls. Amen. Please forgive us for not Amen. recognizing this in the past, in the present, Lord. Amen. I apologize for this grievous sin against you, Lord, and against your church. Amen. Yes, Lord, Amen. we yes, pray in your name, Lord. at this moment for the fashion industry because, Lord, they're catechizing the people. So, Lord, True. we pray that some holy Christian designers would come and that the people 
would buy it. It starts little, Lord, so just we pray, pray that the seeds may be planted in our passions and everything we do, how we carry ourselves, that, Lord, we will um, be pleasing in your sight. And I beg forgiveness, Lord. Um, there ago the other day she said that um, she could see through my top well Lord you know now I have a little camisole to wear so we are our brother's keepers so Lord help us to um, do what we can and pray and that we can all be holy holy and modest mm -hmm. Amen Jesus we apologize and beg your mercy <clears throat> for all those parents who by their silence or by condoning immodest dress among their children and especially those mothers who set a bad example for their own children by wearing pagan fashion themselves Lord, please accept our apology. Blessed Mother, you are the most modest person because you are the mother of God. And you should be modest because you're setting that example for all of us. Not everyone acknowledges you, but you know what? I repent for all the mothers who try to dress their kids like many adults. So the children think that this is the fashion and they see it on their videos or they see it on what they see it all around them. So Lord, I repent for the mothers who know not what they do or if they do know what they're doing, I repent for their just their their ignorance of transforming an innocent person into an early adult doing things that they don't need to do or even learn about. They'll lose their childhood. Blessed Mother, please help these children. Please help these mothers. Give them a good example. Give them wisdom of understanding to know that this isn't good for them or right. for their right. children. Right. What example they set, that's what the child follows. They only see, follow what they see, whether it be in you or what you allow them to look at. Blessed Mother, transform our minds, Amen. our hearts, and make us mothers of our children, caretakers of our children, examples for our children Amen. that are wholesome and centered in Jesus. Lord, transform these, our parents. I won't say they're all, not all, but the ones who need it, Lord. Transform us. Everybody needs something. Everybody some does somehow. need something. All short. We're all <laughs> very <laughs> short. <laughs> and thank you, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Thank you, Mother yes. Mary. And please, dear Jesus, I ask through the Immaculate Heart of Mary that you can have people to be, understand, to distinguish. No gray area, black or white, is either right or is wrong, is holy or is not holy. Mm -hmm. So if we use that as the barometer, we'll be able to begin to make the right decision. It's either right or wrong. We're either going to the right or we're going to the left. Amen. Amen. And we'll close this section with an Our Father, a Hail Mary, and a Glory Be, that God forgives us for all the ways we've erred and all the things that have been mentioned. And we pray that for the world. And we especially pray like I said, again say god we don't deserve it but we desire it so when our time comes let our slate be wiped clean we're begging forgiveness now we want to make reparation now we none know the day or the hour how much time we have left god we are sorry and we beg forgiveness for the whole world our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those 
who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Spread the effect of grace, of thy flame of love, over all of humanity, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Immaculate Heart of Blessed Mary, pray for us. St. Joseph, be with us. Amen.